So who needs cryo? Cryoablation is indicated for patients who are early in natural history of atrial fibrillation, like paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, where most of the pulmonary vein, most of the atrial fibrillation episodes are due to pulmonary vein tachycardias. So pulmonary vein origin tachycardias. So which is why pulmonary vein isolation is most effective thera therapy of choice for uh, treatment of paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. So here I, it can be done either with a 3D mapping or a cryoablation. The advantage of cryo is more complete form of ablation than 3D mapping and uh, with a balloon because uh, it can be achieved in one shot with, in a short period of time. So the time for pulmonary vein isolation comes down compared to 3D mapping. So um, uh, cryoablation can also be done for early, early cases of persistent atrial fibrillation. In persistent atrial fibrillation is more advanced in, uh, in natural history of atrial fibrillation where the disease spreads more into atrium. So uh, atrial fo other atrial foci might be there, but in early persistent AF, uh, uh, cryoablation is a form, uh, treatment modality which is offered and is found to be effective. But cryoablation is not very effective in patients who have advanced atrial fibrillation like patients who have structural heart disease like rheumatic heart disease where there is a lot of atrial fibrosis and also patients who have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy where again atrial musculature is hypertrophied and there are a lot of scars. Suppose the MRI, cardiac MRI shows a large amount of scar then probably cryoablation is not a very good procedure of choice. In most other patients with atrial fibrillation, it, uh, cryoablation is worth considering prior to uh, other forms of treatment.